Hello. Nine zero three nine zero three nine zero three. Voice of people point yeah. three. Hello, how are you? Good, good morning. I'm, I'm greeting Mr. Ov. Yeah. Yes, I one well, of the concerned northerners. I come from north, and we have a, a question, and I'm yes. very happy that my call went through okay. this morning. Thank you. Yes, our concern is that Peter Ov, we are, are, are late, and I want you to just to clarify something for us that you have never, you have never in one time condemned the activity of IPOP. You have never condemned them. And sometimes, if you are even speaking, like you are trying to, you know, justify their activities. So I just want you to come out and categorically tell us your position on IPO. Whoever, say, whoever, tells okay. you that, whoever tells you that is not telling you the truth. And what I've always said is this, and I maintain that. If one is that I've watched killings in the East and everything, and this, 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 you cannot kill or do wrong things because you are agitated. It is wrong, it's criminal. Any day, any time I condemn it. On any form of, of you cannot say you are agitating and you're killing people. It is unacceptable. It is not acceptable. If you want to do a, what I'm saying that when people talk about agitation, mm. it is a different thing we can deal with all those things by dialogue. Mm. Today, if it will be president, mm. I can tell you, our dialogue with all agitators. Mm. Is, this is a normal thing, a normal society, mm. the democratic society. But I will not discuss with criminals. Mm. If you kill or kidnap or men people, we will deal with you decisively. And I've done it in Alhambra as a governor. I dialogue with those who need to be dialogued. And I dealt with those who need to be dealt with. Go and check it. Nana Brass said, when I came, kidnapping, everything was everywhere. And I dealt with it. Head on. That's how it is done. You don't go and mix a, say a Sunday oh, who is talking about agitation. You can call him. Hello, great people. My great people. Great people of Biafra Freedom Fighters. Lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namtikano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazu Ken Naukechuku, known as the Biafran Child Wachineke, the general. Margaret people, I hope we have listened. The caller and the answer from B2B. I hope every one of us understand the point. Because we are going to bring this news in detail. We are going to bring this news in detail so that you will understand every point that Pete will be made. You know, on this Piafran restoration project, we are not going to back an inch. Because we have vowed that on Piafran restoration, either Piafra or nothing, we have chosen our path. We are not going to go back on this till Biafra is totally restored and Mazin Namdekano is free. Great people of Biafra, let us listen in detail because it's very, very important that we understand the tones of people. When people are speaking, we have to understand. We are not coming here for political correctness. We never believe in political correctness. We say things the way it is and down the consequences. Of course, a lot of few people will get angry, but we say things the way it is and nothing any one born of a woman can do about it because we have chosen our path. Till Biafra is totally restored. Now pay attention to this. According to the caller, he asked Peter B after the caller question and answer from Peter B. Now we will begin to break it down to our people. They will begin to understand. But let me take from the caller and the answer from Peter B. The caller asked Peter B. Of course, the caller said that he's from northern part of Nigeria. Of course, he's a full man. But he claimed to be our son. But let us keep it that way. Let us go ahead. The caller asked Peter B, why you never condemn the activities of IPOB 
and Peter will be answered. If anybody, listen very careful, pay attention here very careful, Peter will be answered. If anybody never tells you that he has been condemning the activities of IPOB, if nobody ever tells you that, that means that you are lying to yourself or that person is lying to the caller. That means that Peter will be condemning what we are doing. But let us leave it there. We continue further. And Peter will be also further more said. You cannot be agitating for your freedom at the same time killing your own people. That's what Peter will be said. We will come back to that place later again. And Peter will be also further more and said. Go and ask when he was a governor in Anambra, what he did to those people that was agitating in Biafra. Because those people were agitating for Biafra restoration. He told the caller, go and ask people what he did when he was a governor in Anambra State. We will come back there. And Peter B. also furthermore said, and remember, that the caller was asking P2B about IPOB. P2B left IPOB. Now said, now pay attention to this because it's very, very important that all of us understand. Don't be just jumping around and don't understand when people are saying something. You don't want to understand the point. That is why I'm coming here to give you the point so that you will get everything that P2B said before we begin to analyze it. P2B said, he would dialogue with somebody like Sunday Iboho, who is fighting for freedom. Remember the caller asked Peter Obi about IPOB. Peter Obi now jumped to Sunday Iboho, telling the, 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 the caller that he can dialogue with Sunday Iboho because Sunday Iboho is fighting for the freedom. You know why I'm doing this video is for Peter B to clear to us because we have gotten that point that everything that is happening we are recording it and anybody that put hands in killing of our people can never go scot-free you must answer the question that is why we are here and we can never keep mute we will keep on asking questions and they will keep on answering us that is why you people will make sure that this video get to Peter Obi so that he will come and clear the air. Because what he said was he was jumping. We couldn't understand. That is why I'm repeating it to Peter Obi so he will answer us. Now, does it mean that Peter Obi is telling us that IPOB is not fighting for the freedom? Are we killing people? Is it what Peter Obi is telling us? Because Peter Obi said... Somebody like Sunday Iboho that is fighting for freedom, he can dialogue with him. Does it mean that Peter B cannot dialogue with us? That is what Peter B is telling us. Now, let me go to the second question again. Peter B accepted that he kills his own people during the time that he was a governor in Anambra State. Now you begin to understand that Peter B is killing his own people that are agitating for freedom but he is ready to dialogue with Sunday Iboho now you begin to understand what I'm saying we want Peter B to clear this that is why I'm making this video direct to Peter B and I want you people to make sure that this video get to Peter B because we want him to come and answer there is no two ways about it he may run away he can never hide from this now Peter B also said that what he did in Anambra State when he was a governor, he was killing his own people. And I want you people to understand this. Ashike Udenwa asked for my sub members to be killed. Also, Peter B in 2001-2006. Peter B as a governor also asked for my sub member to be killed. Now Peter B said, "You cannot be agitating and killing your own people at the same time. That is unacceptable to him." Now our question is this: For instance, I don't want to talk about um, my sub now. 
When Mazin now they cannot start this agitation, up to date, are we killing people? Are we not the most peaceful movement on this planet Earth? That is why today we never been proscribed by international community. The Zuko Nigeria have been pushing the international community to proscribe us as a terrorist group. But up to date, they never proscribe us because they know that we are peaceful movement. Now we have to ask Peter Obi, what does he mean by that? Now you begin to understand my question. Because I know that a lot of our people are gullible. They have already forgotten Mazen Namdekano. Now talking about Peter Obi. And Peter Obi is also telling us that he will dialogue with those that want dialogue. And he will kill those that don't want dialogue. Now my question to you all is this. Are you ready to dialogue for Biafra not to come? Are you ready to dialogue with Peter Obi? If Peter Obi, as he was claiming that he is, he is a president, are you going to dialogue with Peter Obi to forget about Biafra? Because what I'm saying is this. That means that Peter Obi is ready to kill our people more and more. Because people like me are not ready to dialogue with Biafran Restoration. I can never dialogue with Biafran Restoration. That is why we stand and we keep on saying either Biafra or nothing. We can never abandon Biafra. A lot of our, they have maimed a lot of our people. They have killed a lot of our people. Which people be killed our people in 2020, 2001 slash 2006? Peter Obi ordered soldiers to kill our people in Anambra. Now you begin to understand what I'm saying. Are you ready to dialogue? Are you ready to forget about Biafra? So if you are not ready to forget about Biafra, just one, I want you to know that Peter Obi, you are about to die in the hands of Peter Obi. Peter Obi will kill you and maim you. Because Peter Obi is coming to tell you to forget about Biafra. Are you ready to forget about Biafra? This is my question to you all. And Peter Obi should come and explain more better what he meant by saying that he would dialogue with those that he can be dialogue with. And those that are, did not accept, he will kill them. Now we want to ask Peter Obi, are you saying that we should forget about Biafra? If we don't accept to forget about Biafra, that you are not going to dialogue with us and that you're going to kill us? That is the question. But I understand everything that Peter Obi said. Peter Obi is telling you that you must abandon Biafra. If you don't abandon Biafra, that is not going to dialogue with you. It's going to kill you. What happened in Anambra when he was a governor will still repeat itself again when he become a president. So he's trying to tell you, forget about Biafra, that Biafra is dead. But we are telling Peter Obi, Either Biafra or nothing. Good day. I welcome.